ओके वेलकम बैक लेट अस कंटिन्यू फॉर द सेकंड एग्जांपल्स एंड द एग्जांपल विल बी अ समथिंग सिमिलर बट यू कैन सी फॉर द एग्जांपल फॉर द स्टोक थ्योरम सरफेस आई आई क्रिएट द सेम बट just to contrast the air problem okay i will i will uh, sections i will use 3d this time i will use the 3d to calculate okay but uh, the example is not that uh, uh, difficult but the example is not that difficult because i want to I wanted to all of you to grasp the basic concept of uh, uh, Stokes theorem. Okay, in this case, we take it as surface of turn. You can see the ghost first. Okay, the ghost makes a difference for all the cases. Okay, you can see uh, now the challenge begin. because the ghost is not any more uh what we call 2d base and uh, you can see it's around around its uh, boundary okay then verify some more verify ah uh, that's uh, another challenge that you need to use uh, stoke theorem Okay, Stokes theorem. Verify Stokes theorem. I use a uh, simple things here. The surface consists of sides of uh, five sections formed by the uh, formed by the planes, and uh, the planes is something that what you can see. Okay, now the analysis again. The similar analysis we are we going to sketch. and uh, the sketching okay, maybe i try to make it a little bit okay you can see the examples is something uh, you can see a b c d e f g h uh, Okay, this is Z, this is Y, this is X, and uh, similarly, we follow the same. Assume. Ah, uh, this case you cannot assume. Ah, uh, again, I will let you know because the boundary of the surface ah uh, always must be given. Okay, I can change. For example, depend on the question C one, C two, C three. and c4 that is uh, there are three you know these things and uh, assume assume you see now i am assuming uh, i'm using nt sometime the direction uh, uh they may say there is a boundary okay this is a boundary but they never mention whether it's a clockwise or anti clockwise they will just give you okay this is where the curve c is moving okay you see the surface over the boundary and around is boundary whereby the boundary is a, a b c something okay in this case let's say we assuming we don't know we just say assume uh, clockwise okay we use a clockwise yes right is it eh? anti clockwise huh? okay anti clockwise okay now the segment we just define as uh, a b e f S one, E F uh, G H S uh, S two, and uh, B C F G S S three, C D G H S S four, A D E H S five. Okay. Now, uh, okay. I hope that you can manage to copy. uh some of you may ask sir what happened to your to your notes uh, as i say i i'm having a uh, some very you know difficulties here to scan my notes but uh, give me some time then i i i can do it i can i just maybe you 
but you learn to copy first okay that's what i can insist here okay when uh, but not many uh, actually following this uh, lecture it seems it seems based on the youtube and uh, the the records that i notice not many of them are following the lecture only and four people are actually following i don't know what the rest actually doing okay but i don't want to comment so much about that but uh, you have a complete freedom to follow anybody's um, web uh, sorry videos but as long as you can understand the problem once i give the problem then you should able to do it that's uh, important things here okay now you can see uh, the important things here you can see that okay i already identify all the segment here the sections the surfaces okay the surfaces in order to find out and we know the surface of uh, uh, okay the loop of um, the dr the curve and uh, the curve basically you need to identify all the curve right suppose no other choice for you okay you need to bring this fdr you need to find out the C2, FDR, you need to find out the C3. Actually, this one is easier than um, uh, easier than the curl, the stoke, okay, portion. You can see the work C4, FDR, okay, is, uh, if it is the case, we need to identify one by one. Okay, let me go through. That means we don't have any other options. We need to elaborate into all the uh, one the line by line. Okay, you need to do it. No other option, as I say. Uh, if we know this is a, a loop, but if it is a 2D, then by obvious, you can use a green theorem. If it is not a 2D, no other options because the solenoid here for the things here is a the ghost here is a 3d ghost okay in this circumstance in this circumstances we learned something called okay we learned what we called as f f uh, y i z2 j x y k and uh, we know the r basically is uh, x i y j z k therefore the dr is actually i dx i'm helping you to revise back indirectly okay dy and um, uh, k dz okay with this if I combine these together, f dot product with the dr, we get a y dx, uh, z2 dy power 2 xy to the dz. Okay, shall we be able to calculate now? Yes, we start calculate one by one for the c1. See the task is, okay, let us analyze the c1 first. The c1 has been fixed. But you must remember, we need to give a coordinate here, very important. The coordinate here is a tz, it's a 2, okay, 0, 0, 2. And here is a 0, 0, uh, 0, 3, okay, 0, 3, uh, 0, because it's uh, y. And the x portion is, uh, uh, sorry, 1. 0 0 okay because just to help you out okay to see the difference okay in this case is a 1 right then this line okay therefore the x equals to 1 at this particular point z is equals to 0 therefore dx is equals to 0 can you follow me dx is a 0 therefore the dz also is a 0 very fast you can guess certain things therefore very fast you can able to calculate FDR in this particular case is what okay can you y z is a 0 dx is a 0 and x is a 0 1 y okay is a y only left therefore very obvious the whole thing is a 0 okay uh, 
But I just let you know, in any circumstances, you cannot assume uh, this uh, will be a zero for the all the time. Okay, what about C2? When we talk about C2, y equals to 3 and zz is d, dy is 0, okay, and dz is 0. Okay, in this particular case, we can get a C2 F dot dr. Huh. I want you to take a close look on this where we get here. Okay, y dx. Okay, what is the range? Can you guess or not? What is the range of this y dx okay because z is there is a zero but what is the range will be can you guess from here okay c2 look at this c2 okay c2 therefore you may say oh okay sir it's a very simple what okay is it a one to zero no can you see the arrow arrow is moving from 1 to 0 that means you need to change the direction 0 to 1 therefore you will get a 0 1 3 dx answer is negative 3 oh sorry can you see that oh you, you didn't manage to see huh? okay can you follow Okay, what about C3 and C4? Okay, if you calculate C3 using the same method, you get a 0. C4, you get a 0. Therefore, what is the answer? What is the answer of overall this site that you calculated here? This will end up as a negative 3, right? Okay, as a conclusion, we get a negative 3 as our solution okay that means it's understood we got this now we use the Stoke theorem because the question asks you to what verify the Stoke theorem okay verify the Stoke theorem therefore you cannot simply say this is the answer but we know from the logics of this okay ah uh, now, now, before, before I move further, we get a negative 3 as our solution. That means, can you project something? Why I use assume here, then anti-clockwise, then but I get a negative 3 as a 0. But uh, work, how to interpret this? That means the direction of this uh, flow of solenoid is at this, in this direction. Actually, it's a clockwise. Okay. You see, I assume anti-clockwise. If you give me the answer as a negative 3, that means, okay, your answer is still correct. Your answer is still correct. But you must say, no, if I assume this way, but the direction is opposite to that in order to get a 3 as your solution. If you use opposite, then automatically the answer will be correct. Okay? Now, uh, if we proceed, if we proceed to do the same thing, then we can say here we follow f dot dr equals to what the surface, right? The curl of surfaces must be same. Okay, this is what we are learning, right? Now we're going to take uh, this portion the surface of okay okay the surface is we're going to calculate and uh, how many surfaces do we have we have five surfaces to calculate okay that means we need to go through five surfaces called s1 s2 s3 okay S4, S3, S3, S5. Okay? Wow, well, we need to use 
we need to identify. This is actually question is very simple. Okay, as I say, question is very simple. But if the problem become very complex, then you will it, it, the problem it won't be this simple as anymore because we know that we are talking about flat surfaces. That means smooth surfaces. We are not facing anyway any um, what do you call not smooth surfaces. We are talking about all smooth surfaces, right? Okay, but. Uh, Okay, let's say because uh, then how to calculate this? Okay, I del del x j del del y k d d z z and the y so two x y in this you will get uh, x minus two. Okay, no more time for us to show one by one. Eh? I, I just quickly conclude everything very fast. Because if I start doing step by step, it will take longer. Okay, but I assume, okay, you all by now, you should be able to do it. Eh? You should not ask me, sir, how to do this. Eh? Okay, how to do curl. Okay, by now you should say, okay, if I do the uh, height, this one you will get x to dy that means you will get a x okay now and over here you get a negative to z right that's correct then then this is how you need to calculate i hope that you should be able to follow okay now let me start with the s1 if it is a s1 okay what is the s1 what is s1 what is our Early these things. Okay, the S1 is A B E F. A B E F. This. The I, the pointer, the normal, uh, uh, what do you call, the orthogonal to this surface is a I. Y is follow the X. Okay, it's a I. And what is the fixed point here? It's a 1. Therefore, can I calculate? Yes. If it is a I is a N in this case is a normal is I and X equals to 1 and DS is a DY DZ mm. Okay, therefore can I calculate this for the S1? Yes Since we already have this dot product with the N Okay, and DS I want you just dot product F to the i you get only i you know therefore the calculation become a bit simple which is you get a x to the 2z okay is a dy dz okay and what is that 2 to the 0 3 to the 0 you get a negative 6 the first one is negative 6 let us do s2 Okay, S2, now the N is K for the S2, S2, what is S2? S2 is a E, F, G, H. It's a S2. E, okay, what is the E here? E, F, G, H on the top. Okay, that means it's a, the, the normal, it's normal to the Z, right? Z here. That means it's a, K and the fixed point here is a 2 okay now therefore you will get a n is a k equals to 2 okay ds is a dx dy can i calculate yes okay s2 okay i won't show everything but uh, rest i think i hope that you can do it by yourself but since because i can give you more example Okay, negative 1, dx, dy equals to negative 3. Okay, now what about the S3? Okay, the S3 is uh, still, please uh, go through. S3 is what? S3 is a bc, fg. bc, bc, fg. Okay, follow 
which direction y that means it's a j right the fixed point here is a 3 okay and uh, and if you can identify the the properties very well then it's easier for you to calculate really i'll tell you this is you can solve the problem very comfortably similarly you can find out the s4 s n negative i x equals to zero therefore when you calculate the s4 you get a 12 okay what about the s5 can you see now the problem is uh, the n is a uh, negative j uh, the y equals to zero and uh, the overall s5 here is equals to zero okay can you add and see this one s2 s3 s4 plus s5 you get negative 3 uh, now you can see wow, how e is it easy no actually in this particular case we i have given a very simple question it doesn't mean you know it's uh, straightforward but you must understand the simple process anyway therefore the curve f can you now to verify you need to show both are same okay that then you will say based on the s okay for the big ds or nds it's same therefore it has been verified okay it's a it has been verified okay can you follow am i fast okay some of you may say i'm very fast bit okay Beta, just just I'll, I'll show you this values here okay here can you just copy a few of that okay then you can completely you can uh, add together okay just again from the top okay okay have a look carefully then okay can you follow okay done verified okay now our big task begin with the different examples now we go for more sophisticated examples here what i mean by sophisticated examples okay we see now uh, sometime i i choose some fastest questions and the questions will be uh, options I will try to show both options okay for example I'll show you one different from what we learned before for example let's say calculate calculate B okay sometimes they use two okay here don't don't get confused when you get a one or two huh? uh, one means is uh, you combine together D okay F ds it's actually double actually surface is true okay don't worry about that don't be a two you uh, know fuzzy about this why suddenly two why suddenly you know one time only we are integrating okay it's actually surface to indicate the in, uh, to indicate that as a surface okay it could be area or two but okay ds big s i put it as where okay where S is the interior of the circle C with radius R2 in the XY plane as shown in figure below given given okay x minus y i x2 y t wow okay once let's say the figure is uh, this 
a lot of them having this problem to understand this to particular topic for example this is okay imagine this is the question now the really this question seems to be confusing okay see they have given something called y x 2d circle okay the circle i put it here something like that but they ask you to calculate um, what we call stoke but you can see the stoke theorem actually it works for only 3d right is this a 3d no it's not like seems like a 3d but uh, how to understand this process actually and some more this is a 2d right the f also is a 2d okay the f is a 2d very obvious but the question asking you to solve for the 3d okay they're asking you maybe the the question here anyway asking you to show you know therefore here very easy you can use straight away but i wanted to explain this process in the 3d okay because i want you to understand uh, this problem in the 2d as well as in the 3d okay some of you may claim sir i don't understand how can this 2d can be a suddenly become a 3d okay you should imagine this is not uh, if you imagine this is a 2d but what kind of type that we are talking about this is we are talking about a kind of disc imagine the disc is so small so tiny okay so tiny okay the disc size here okay the disc size is here so tiny and the solenoid is on the top okay you can imagine this is a kind of cd rom or dvd or something like that okay imagine this is something kind of that okay it's look like a 2d but actually it's not that 2d okay it's actually it's a 3d okay but therefore uh, the the side uh, circle here the, the thickness of this is a too small too small but imagine there is a solenoid on the bottom or top i don't know but they didn't mention here whether it's a top but they say in the xy plane as shown in the figure below but i don't know where is the solenoid actually running or behind the disc or on the top of the disc okay let's say the disc is on the top okay we can assume the question never mentioned see there are few problem here okay the the system didn't explain to us okay whether where the solenoids actually is uh, uh, it has been the fix here the second information that we don't know is whether in okay in this case is the direction is given okay it's anti-clockwise maybe my assumption can be wrong but it's given like that but it's not necessary later we can change but let us calculate first very fast we use i will show you option one first use a green theorem okay green theorem since this is a f dot dr then we can use a green theorem and this is we call as f1 this is we call it as f2 therefore we can use a green theorem minus okay uh, del f1 to the del y minus del f2 to the del x okay da and since we know f1 is x minus y and f2 is negative x2 mm, yeah x2 y okay then can i bring it inside no not yet this is a del f1 to the del y which i get negative one similar to the earlier problem that we dis we have discussed earlier okay is a negative 2 xy uh okay okay now now for to calculate this we combine together we combine together therefore the f 
dot dr okay now the challenge begin here okay one negative one since it's a negative i bring it inside it's a shuffle you know it change exchange the position here therefore i get a one minus two x y okay this is where we begin because it's what this is a circle what suppose am i need to put here dy dx cannot we cannot use dy dx anymore we need to use r d theta d r can you get uh, this is where the problem begin okay if this is a scenario okay what is the circle here complete 200 that means it's a r how do i know what is the r here the radius is given the radius is a given here r equals to 2 right that means r is a 2 to the 0 and 2 pi to the 0 is it can i leave it like that cannot because x and y is not explained therefore how to do that okay 2 to the 0 2 pi to the 0 we need to change to 1 ah, we need to say 2 r cos theta we need to change you know x is a x in this case is a r sine of cos okay you need to change okay we need to use a, a both a x and y but it must be a, a, a y is basically is a r sine theta and r is x is a cos theta okay uh, because uh, basically uh, we should we should able to see the uh, mean uh, uh, what do you call okay okay then when you combine together x y you insert inside okay you get a uh, what uh, 1 2 r 3 cos theta sine theta because r I already brought inside here d t d r okay oh, oh. the opposite huh? uh, oh, okay maybe I wanted to calculate the r d theta can I swap can I swap this okay this 2 this is I make it 2 pi okay no no harm no harm you can use r d theta also but uh, here um, i wanted to change bit because maybe i want to do the r first not this one okay okay in this particular case then uh, 2 pi 0 uh, is become uh, oh r r sorry yeah r i bring inside this become r it cannot be one okay r r t two three r okay correct okay this is become r two two four r four divide by four okay then cos you can bring it out okay this one is basically is a two zero cos theta sine theta d theta okay okay the last round uh, okay how to solve this part okay let's say I managed to solve this is uh, 2 to 8 can I combine this to solve this yes I want uh, you all to solve accordingly uh, the first way to solve this problem is uh, that uh, 2 okay the next the next move is okay you you just okay this one become a 2 over 8 cos theta sine theta okay several time I have done this portion la this portion I have done this cos sine okay the combination but I hope that you can combine these two and the answer is 4 5 the answer is 4 pi the answer is 4 pi uh, this is how we solve the 
problem uh, cause pi to the things but I want to further you know these things let us let us do the option number two okay I hope that you can follow me okay what about the option two if I choose option two okay if I choose to do option two okay del to the f I need to sketch I del x okay here del x uh, i j k which I will get here d d y e z del z x minus y x2 y0 where I get again same results as before hmm Ah, this is what I want you to understand. Okay, what the idea actually trying to say here is, you see, the solenoid, okay, when the solenoid running on this top of uh, this, actually is directed towards the K. Can you see this? It's actually giving K. K means it's what? On the top like this, here, here. There is uh, something that all facing to the top. It's an XY plane, but the K is here. It's, it's something like this. You must imagine. It's something like this. Ah, it's like, this is K. You see, it's all following the Z. Okay, that means the solenoid is running, I don't know, on the top or bottom. Okay, later we identify whether it's a top or on the bottom. It's actually, it's very known, it's well known already la, because it's a K. Answer is given as a K. If it is a negative K, then it's below. But here it's very obvious the answer is on the top. Here, on the top. The solenoid running on the top of the disc. Okay, on the top of the disc. Because it's a Z. It's follow the Z. Okay, it's here, could be X, it could be a Y, and we don't know about the direction, whether this direction or that direction, but it's very obviously, once we calculate, it's known. It's a K. Okay, now, therefore the end is a outward. Normal to Okay, hmm. can you see that? Okay, now since this is a circle, then we know x is a r cos theta, y is a r sin theta. Now, ds is very clearly, we know ds is a dx dy, but we cannot use that, r dr d theta. And uh, I just place it here, R is a 0 to 2 changes, theta is a, the changes is 0 to 2 pi. Okay, that means when we start combine together, combine together for the work, in this case, we have, okay, 2, uh, sorry, F times with the N D S we will get 2 by 0 2 0 1 2 X Y K times with the K R D R D theta okay Okay, some of you may say, sir, no, 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 if I choose K outward normal or I change it to, I, I thought like uh, it's a behind, behind this disc. Let's say there are two options only do you, you have, right? Only on the top or below. Let's say you miscalculated, let's say you miscalculated, it's a top below. Your answer, you will get it here, is negative negative 4 pi 
okay negative 4 pi that means it's automatically understood the direction is so since it's already given here this is the direction okay it's not on the below that means it's on the top on the top of the disk okay now with this let me okay this is uh, one examples complete examples uh, it's not to say you know it's a passage question you know this is a passage question okay so there are a lot of so questions to discuss la okay uh, okay then uh, as long as my camera can support me then i can proceed huh? okay uh, then i use one more example okay i got a lot of examples here um, uh, which one is the best to discuss maybe i later i discuss the complex one lah huh? okay this another one more examples very quickly i'll go through with you very quickly this is a passage question also okay this passage question actually is an another example use stokes 